Texas Chainsaw Massacre has a massive update coming out later today and we're going to throw it right now and highlight all the important changes that you need to know. So this new update will also introduce the DLC being Nancy and Danny into TCM. So there's going to be quite a lot of fixes alongside this and we'll go through the most important ones right now. They fixed a footstep audio where you're able to hear plays from underneath in the basement in the tunnels but above ground on the family house that has been now fixed. They also fixed Johnny's animations where the footprints would disappear abruptly when his ability does end. Footprints will now fade away over time. We fixed the issue where Johnny wasn't looking at the floor while using his ability to follow victim footsteps as well. They also fixed the inconsistency between the range of noise for gathering items for the victims when the family are trying to hunt down players. And a series of audio fixes on pretty much everything in the game and voice chats drops in lobbies and match that has been fixed as well. Fixed camera angles and crawl spaces now won't focus on the leg when you go through a crawl space. I think it was focusing on the booty the whole time. But that's another thing. Fix a whole bunch of crashes with the game as well. And it seems like they fixed all the issues that happened after a certain amount of gameplay. So after one hour of gameplay, you get invalid credential error that has been removed and some other fixes in general that stop you from playing the game. And there seems to be no more service collision or getting stuck on certain spots in the game. So that's been removed. Another good change to see. Now it seems like the attribute for strength does affect barging through doors as well. So that's another factor. Hitchhiker's gimmick or exploit being able to place three traps that instantly kill a victim has now been gone as well. Also, no cell will now probably work against revved attacks against level face aka the overhead attacks now the charge will actually be taken from no cell instead of you instantly dying in that state grab perks will no longer unequip themselves after each match blood trails have now been matched to all platforms so you'll be able to see a lot of blood and find victims quite quickly because of that my perk that we found the exploit on has now been fixed sad to see it go but it was there for a bit and glad we found that as one of the discoveries in tcm oh it looks like there's a new perk called quick exit perk on danny so they kind of revealed the perk here without us actually knowing properly so that's a really cool scene so no longer resets crawl space opening progress if family members leave proximity so it looks like he's tampering with crawl spaces so you may be able to keep crawl spaces open for much longer so that's a nice little thing there to know about danny with his tampering aspect on his kit and there's also a spotter perk which is maybe another perk belonging to danny as well and fish the backstabber will now work on stabbing grandpa this might allow us to actually do grandpa stabbing records again that is amazing to see. So there's a new system in place for noise and emitting noise when a victim hits a noisemaker. Now the character ally will be visibly emitted to the family side through a red outline, trying to incentivize stealthy play more often for the victims. There's also an auto crouch function as well to toggle. So it seems like Nancy's house had valve tanks underneath in the basement, and now they've been placed higher like Slaughterhouse. Victim abilities will be on a 60 second cooldown at the very start of the match. We knew about that. And there seems to be no more safe zone in front of pressure valve. So the hitchhiker can put his trap right next to the pressure valve as well. Gas station smoke room. We've added a gate to the smoke room exit. We've also closed the gap between the smoke room and the side room. Okay, nice. So it looks like it's more of a harder place to get through in essence. We'll have to test that at full release of this update. Valve pressurizing after close. When family closed the valve, it will now build pressure back up, reducing victim progress towards the gate opening. Nice change. Keeps that tug ball constantly going. Instead of being an easy victory after three times for the victim. Lobby timers have been fixed. If five players are ready up, it will drop to 30 seconds. Grapper awakening cutscene has been removed and now a simple notification will be there. Nice. This low face requirement has been taken away, but then also the maps and their barricades and the family spawns have not been changed. So that will be kind of interesting. I think this will be for the worst, but we'll find out as we get into it. Gas station fuse and fuse box spawns have changed. This could be quite interesting to know where the exact spawns could actually prevent 30 second escapes happening on gas station. Cook's sick ability consumption now drains when searching for noises and when focusing as well. And that's the aspect of his ability now. So he won't be able to scan you 24 seven and laugh nonstop. Now his house will be more weighted than the rest of the maps, meaning that it will be more on rotation. So essentially what ends up happening, you search for a match, Majority time, maybe a 60% chance you'll end up finding Nat's house compared to the other three maps prior to this release. Gal kills will now reward you with more XP. The new Love Face skin that was a premium skin has their sound effect now increased to match with the original saw. So technically no more pay to win on that chainsaw. And Cook's ability when he does tag you has been reduced so you won't be as outlined for long. It'll be reduced compared to what it is right now. They've nerfed Johnny with his sprint attack as well. Cook's ability won't be able to seek enemies in crouch or moving slowly as well. And Nancy seems to have the same issue as Cook and they already nerfed that, so you won't be able to pretty much boost XP off this character by spotting enemies. And also Grandpa got kind of nerfed for the family side, but buff for the victims, as now they can emit more noise before Grandpa wakes up. And the same change that happened to Cook does happen to Johnny as well through his hunt ability. If enemies are crouched or moving slowly, they won't get traced. Slaughterhouse balance changes. This is going to be kind of interesting. The valve pressure tanks moved upstairs out of the basement. I'm hoping this is the exact same place I mentioned earlier in other videos. Move valve how to pick up locations to the further uh, side from the tanks. Slaughterhouse building door can now have a padlock added to it. 
So that now means you can't get to car exit quicker. That's going to be delayed. Uh, added uh, nuggets and added other nuggets to both areas as well. AKA more sound emitters on that map, which is great for chicken builds and such. Now, Prey Drive won't activate properly. You have to actually fully scan a target in order to get the benefits. And also there's a pins and needle perk for the character Nancy, which seems to be more in line with other characters, but it's based on a percentage chance to keep an item. So I'm guessing she has a usage like Sissy, and after a certain amount of usages, it disappears. But in this case, you'll be able to keep those charges on you by a certain chance. Now, Screw Pin's tuning has been affected as well. It would only affect Cook's padlocks and nothing else in the game. And it looks like well jump iframes are now a thing. If you do use your iframe, you only take one instance of damage instead of taking multiple hits at once, which was a thing that makes you get tilted pretty darn quickly. But this will mean that you only get hit once and whatever damage you took, if you don't die from the full damage of the well, you can actually just continue until you need to recover and enjoy the experience. That seems to be the, all the changes in this update. Honestly, Nancy and Danny will be out, and this is going to be crazy. This will be out very, very soon. Crazy patch. A lot of stuff in this update, to say the least. A lot of fixes, some of it more nuisance and like minimal changes or minor changes to the experience. But there's some major ones that we did discuss right now, which will highlight major gameplay changes in this update for TCM. Will this keep the update alive, the game alive overall? We have to find out and test it for ourselves. But expect a live stream very soon as we jump into Texas Chainsaw Massacre as Nancy and Danny and enjoy the content. Hopefully get some subscribers and you mates to jump into the gameplay experience as well with us and be in a party and have some fun times. But tell me your pins and thoughts in the comment section down below about this patch. I'd love to know. And if you mates are new, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, follow us on Twitch, join the Discord, code Lordia Game Subs for 10% off and also BTLMerch.com. Show support, greatly appreciated.